afternoon and welcome along to another video. Today is Tuesday the 2nd of June 2020 and in today's video I'm going to look ahead and preview group number 8, the PDC Low 6 Home Tour. Who is going to be the last person in the semi-finals group? Group number 2 is almost complete. We've got Rob Cross, we've got Joe Cullen and we've got Nathan Aspinall. Who will be the three question marks at the bottom of this table? We'll try and answer that question in this video. The four players that are going to take part in this group are as follows. We've got Johnny Clayton, we've got Scott Waits, we've got Max Hopp and we've got Carol Wilkinson. Which one of those will join those three players and be the eighth player in the semi-finals groups? The first person we're going to talk about is Johnny Clayton. Now Johnny Clayton came through group number eight with three wins out of three. He started off the night by beating... Adam Hunt by 5 legs to 2 with a 95 average. He then went on and beat Richard North by 5 legs to 3 with a 90 average. And then the final game of the evening, he beat Dave Pallet 5 2 with a 92 average. It was steady stuff from Johnny Clayton, but just to either highs or lows with Johnny Clayton. But this was real consistency, which we don't generally see from the Welshman. An interest to see how his counting goes in phase 2 because his counting can be iffy at times but it was more consistent in group phase number one than we've seen it for a little while. So I'll be interested to see how Johnny gets on in group number eight. The next player we're going to talk about is Scott Waits. Now Scott Waits got through at the second chance. He didn't get through group three originally. He lost out to Dave Chisnell by five legs to two and Dave topped the group. But in group number 27, he got his revenge with three wins out of three. He beat Steve Beaton 5-3 with a 97 average. In the second match, he then beat Rod Mullenkamp 5-0 with a 90 average. In the last game of the evening, he beat Ross Smith with a 98 average, winning by five legs to two. Now, he's put a lot of online darts and he's done very well in the COVID World Championships. But interesting if he can carry that form into this. And the three wins out of three in the tw group number 27 was impressive stuff, especially at the start of the night and the end of the night. So it showed that he can play over a long period of time online. I'm interested to see how Scott gets on in group number eight. The third player, the third player we're going to talk about is Max Hopp. Now he played in group number 12 and the players in that group had to play four games because um, Keegan Brown pulled out because of poor Wi-Fi. Max started off with a loss to Mike Decker by five legs to three with an 89 average, but then followed up with three wins to get through the group. He first beat Conan Whitehead by five legs to three with an 81 average. The next game, he got his revenge over Mike Decker, beating him by five legs to three with a 90 average. And the last game of the evening, he beat Conan Whitehead again by five legs to an 83 average. It wasn't the best of stuff from Max Hopp, but he produced the stuff, the important stuff at the big moments at the end of matches to get the wins. And he won three matches out of four. He'll have to step it up in this group. But if he produces those crucial doubles and crucial set-up shots, he will be in a good position in this group. The last player of the group we're going to talk about is Carol Wilkinson. Now he came through group number 13 with three wins out of three. He started off the night by beating Matt Edgar by five legs and out with 101 average. He then beat Callum Rince by 5 legs to 3 with a 96 average and his last game of the evening was his worst performance of the night where he beat Steve Beaton by 5 legs to 2 with an 88 average. Now Carol Wilkins played a lot of online darts, especially with the northeast of England that have been setting them up but he's been very very impressive and he brought that into group number 13 especially at the start of the night. A bit interesting to see if he can bring that form forward to phase number 2. Now, as you see in the corner, we're going to talk about the following games. Again, it's the best 11 format. And the first game we're going to talk about is Johnny Clayton versus Scott Waits. Now, Johnny leads head to head by 1 to 0. They played the UK Open this year, and Johnny got a 10 7 win over Scott Waits. I think it's a very, very close match, but I think that Scott Waits' experience online will get him through this game by 6 legs to 5. The second match of the evening sees Max Hopp take on Carol Wilkinson. I couldn't find any meets between the pair. I'd be interested to see how this match goes on, but I think again, online experience will beat non-online experience, and I think Carol Wilkinson will get the job done in this match by six legs to three. 
The third game of the evening sees Scott Wakes take on Carol Wilkinson. Now these two have played a lot in local tournaments but I couldn't find any records of these two playing against each other in professional tournaments. I think this will be a very, very tight one but I think Scott's know-how and experience will get the job done in this match by six legs to five. The fourth match of the evening sees Johnny Clayton take on Max Hop. Now Johnny leads the head to head in this by three to nil. They played in 2016 in the Players' Championships and Johnny Clayton won by six legs to five. They've played twice in the Euro Tour in 2018 and Johnny picked up 6-3 and then a 6-2 win over Max Hop. I think with the head-to-head -head record, I think that'll be enough for Johnny Clayton to get the win in this match by six legs to four. The penultimate game sees Max Hop take on Scott Waits. And with Scott picking up a tour card this year, I couldn't find a meeting between the pair. But I think that Max Hop will be too much for Scott Waits in this match. And I think Max Hop will win this match by six legs to four. I think it's a slow start for the night, but once he gets into his stride, he'll be too strong for Scott. The last game of the evening sees Carol Wilkinson take on Johnny Clayton. Again, I couldn't find any meetings between the pair, but I think it's been very, very tight. And I think that... Carol's experience on webcam darts will be too much for Johnny in this match and I think that Carol will also win this match by six legs to five. So if the results happen, I think the following table will be as follows. I think Carol Wilkinson will top the group with four points and a plus three leg average. Scott Waits will be second with four points and a zero leg difference. Johnny Clayton will be third with two points and a zero leg difference. And Max Hoff will bottom of the table with two points minus three leg difference. I think it's an intriguing night, a real night for the purists. With that, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video. And until tomorrow, I'll see you then. Goodbye.